Hello, how are you? I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta, and tis the season for strawberry preserve. So what we're going to be making is strawberry preserve. Preserve meaning that it, as opposed to a jam, that it has uh, a high ratio of fruit. So I'm making this, this is what I made. And I don't like it too thick, uh, and I could turn this into a sauce uh, very easily. I could thin it out uh, with some simple syrup, with a little bit of liqueur, that kind of thing. Uh, but it has a high ratio of fresh strawberries. These are the fresh strawberries. And so we will take a pound of strawberries. These are kind of wild strawberries, native Connecticut, because they're small, all right? But they're pretty hardy. And oh, I see a little green. So these are all washed and hulled, and so we've got a pound of strawberries. Now, I, instead of sugar and water, I always like to add flavor. So what we have here is a strawberry preserve, right here, all right? First ingredient is strawberry, and then of course the corn syrup and all that junk. So we get a little head start, and uh, you know, we fortify it. So it's got a little gel to it already. And when I said I didn't like to make it too thick, it means I don't like to put too much pectin. But also, like I said, I don't like to just add water when I can always add flavor. And this is red, and so is cranberry juice. So fruit juice is kind of my go-to, right? So uh, we're going to go four ounces of Four ounces of cranberry juice. We have six ounces of uh, strawberry preserve and a pound of strawberries. And that's going to produce some liquid, all right? And the amount of acidity is going to dictate how much pectin you use. And the best kind of pectin is apple pectin, okay? It comes from the, it's like a gum, is basically what it is, okay? It comes from the fibrous. Um, components uh, of the fruit, uh, cranberries have pectin, uh, and other fruits. And if you notice, sometimes actually when you do puree or make a sauce, they do kind of have a natural gel to it. And so they, they create that jelly effect, that gel, right? And it's a gum. It's a type of gum. And so what's going to happen here is, now an unripe fruit has more acidic acidity and therefore it has more pectin, more natural pectin. But anyway, this is a powder and, um, and it's going to be one and a half ounces, okay? This is it, it's kind of tannish uh, color powder and it's kind of tough to blend this in and you want to cook this first. Uh, and instead of uh, sugar, uh, you should blend your pectin with a sugar and it blends much better because it's kind of a powder and it could lump up and that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to use honey, all right? Two ounces of honey. This is a four ounce jar, and so half a jar of honey. And that's going to, uh, I'm gonna blend, that's gonna help the pectin blend, and plus it keeps the raw uh, sugar out of it. This is, this is kind of a natural uh, raw honey. And so every little bit helps. So, not that this uh, polliner strawberry preserve is really that good for you, but uh, nevertheless, it's probably better than just straight honey, considering it has strawberries in it already. So I'm just kind of, you know, doesn't blend that much, uh, blend that well, blends a lot better when you have uh, fresh, uh, when you have granulated sugar, kind of mixes right into the grains of the sugar. But anyway, uh, we're going to do that. I'm gonna let this simmer. So I have the cranberry juice, the strawberry preserve, and the strawberries in here. And you cook it, I'll turn it up a little bit for the sake of time. And, uh, and you cook it until uh, it's basically not mush, but your, your riper strawberries are kinda of, uh, mush in and you have uh, smaller pieces and it's kinda of chunky, all right? So we want to cook it a little bit, all right? So I'm going to blend this better in this uh, bigger bowl. When it comes to mixing and baking and all that, uh, bigger is always better, 
Okay, so you have room to mix and work. All right, so remember this is just honey and pectin, and uh, and we're just going to kind of blend that in there. All right, and again, that's so the pectin blends better while that's kind of simmering for three or four minutes. And then we're going to add this, and we're going to uh, let it set a moment, and then we're going to uh, let that simmer for about three minutes. And then that's basically it, okay? And we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice because uh, the acidity of the lemon uh, is going to accent and, and flavor or season the, the strawberries. So that's our seasoning for desserts and pastries and fruit in particular is sugar and lemon as opposed to salt and pepper for more of the savory type of uh, food. Okay, so that's a pretty good blend there and that's cooking and speaking of that I want to get my lemon out. Why? Because I used it. That's right. Um, and you could add it at a later date, too. Uh, but we could taste this, too. And with the cranberry juice, it actually has enough acidity, really. So it's a pretty unique uh, strawberry preserve. And so that's nice and blended. I'm going to give my strawberries a stir. And... All right, this is a high heat spatula. Usually when a rubber spatula is red, that means it can take up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, just kind of keep that in mind. And uh, so, so you want to cook those a little bit so most of the moisture comes out. And, and this is going to be wonderful, all right? This is actually, uh, you know, not just good on toast, like I said, you can make a sauce out of it, uh, you can make a fill a cake with it, you can um, uh, do a variety of things. Just serve it right over ice cream, uh, that kind of thing. Add some fresh strawberries to it, alright? So, let's get, um, let's get our pectin in here. And the beauty of the pectin is that it's a... Uh, a natural, it doesn't need to be refrigerated to gel. It'll gel in, as it sits in due time at room temperature. And also another beauty of pectin, as opposed to some other gums, xanthan gum, or even uh, starches, is that it, uh, it's clear. So it doesn't take away any color, all right? And what we're going to do to ensure an even blending is we're going to give that a little bit of stir for the whisk. All right. So the heat's off because it's tough to blend something in when it's kind of rumbling and boiling, right? You want it to kind of, see now that's thickened up already, all right? And of course it's warm, so it's uh, more viscous, uh, so it's, it looks loose. But once you uh, let that chill, you're going to have a nice gel to it, all right? And I just kind of take a visual here and make sure that uh, all my pectin is dissolved. It's okay that my fruit breaks up. It's still going to be chunky enough, all right? I mean, you got a pretty good ratio of strawberries in here, right? Uh, okay, so let's give it a, a cook. And you could just tell by the plop, uh, you know, that it's plop, plop. It's like a deeper plop. Think of, think of food like your music, right? As opposed to just a like a, a simmer before when it was just mostly liquid. Now it's kind of plopping along, all right? So I would say that's actually uh, beautiful, uh, very nice. We're going to get a, a tasting spoon, and we're going to uh, we're gonna let that cook a minute or two. But uh, it's basically done. You could add some lemon juice. Uh, you could add a little liqueur. You could add anything you want. These are just kind of flavoring and seasonings, right? So, um, let's see.
Mm. That's a nice strawberry preserve. I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta, and thank you.